welcome back to Curry on Sailing. This time we experienced the hurricane. So you can see uh, there are four boats on the right of your picture here and they have their stern to the direction that the wind came from. And uh, I think the four were very successful and this traditional method of tying off to the mangroves works very well. And the chap on the left tied off to uh, clearly a fish trap as well. I'm not sure how successful that was. But uh, anyway, you can see this is our experience on board Carry On during the whole event. Hope you enjoy. sure if you folks could see but when we got the strong gust coming in this uh, this blue monohull obviously the small ones getting absolutely battered you look over here uh, but this 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 blue monohull is nearly getting knocked down whilst in port wow so we're category one we've had category one and so 60 64 65 knots here West we've got so far. to lose their sail. guys so we're in the middle of what according to the to the anemometer which is my wind meter it's a category two where we are right now so you can see the blue blue boat over there on the other side of the dock has, has come slipped its line and it's hitting against the against the dock it was so bad that actually the um, the boat was nearly like a knockdown inside the port as so anyway just trying to teach you on strategy so myself and Eva what we're doing is we're constantly going around looking at the lines, tightening the lines, making sure that they haven't worked themselves loose, there's no chafe, trying to get the, 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 the lines in the perfect position to get the boat away from the dock because I can't show you because we'll destroy the camera, but the problem actually is over here by this black pillar. I've got some tires out now, you'll destroy the camera. Yeah, uh, you'll destroy the camera look. But, so we're, we're using car tire, car tires to, to keep, the, you know, keep the boat away and then I pull on that side of the stern just to get her away from the dock. So that's the best we can do. And um, the, we're really lucky because uh, when I came here, we knew that the west of the wind generally comes from the direction it's coming from now. And that means the wind goes straight down our hulls. I was moored up further down alongside and uh, that would have been disastrous for us. So anyway, good so far, check up with you soon. So what we've done is I've just added a bit more tension on this line over here. And you can see a uh, really nice guy, uh, former police officer, uh, his, his Genoa was blown out. And then some other, some other cold soul is about to slip the lines here and uh, crash up the dock and this Genoa has come out as well. Yeah, a bit of a nightmare for them. Uh, so yeah, fingers crossed we should be alright, God willing. So, camera is not waterproof but, let's see, good guys. I was blowing out over there.
Okay, so I think it's much better put these tires. Yep. Uh, we have only two, but... Yeah, so as Eva's pointed out, we found it uh, very useful um, using these tires because actually the uh, fenders can explode and they move a lot more easily. And uh, one problem we came across was that the, uh, the boat was moving up with the swell. Um, luckily the pontoon moves as well, but um, yeah, the, if just where Elba's head is at the moment, uh, that cleat, the, the boat can actually be lifted up and land on the cleat. So yeah, we just basically use the tyres um, and Eva will shortly show you a method by which we can actually grab the tyres um, and hold them sideways. Uh, and we've used this in Acapulco when a squall came in. And that basically just keeps the boat off the uh, pontoon and giving you time to readjust all the other fenders that you can see. So we're really lucky. Um, things have come out quite well for us. The only damage we've got, this is Hurricane, I forget the name of it, it's Nora, I think. But um, yeah, it's just to our little Bimini thing over the, over the top. It's not really that badly damaged, but the screen in it is gone, but it was useless anyway, so I'm not really that bothered. Because the wind was pushing so hard at that, that you know, the starboard uh, bow was actually causing the boat to, to move like this. And therefore that meant that this corner down here was touch, could have touched the dock. So the obvious thing to do is use the, the line on the far side, which I shall show you. So we used the full line and the combination of the tires and we kept it quite far away. But to put it in perspective, you know, there's the, the sea wall here is the same height on the other side and there's about five meters in between them. The water, the waves were coming over, over the top. I'll do some more videos of that in a second. But yeah, we were really lucky as well because the wind was going straight down the middle of the hulls and uh, we've had the, the, the furling, we've tightly furled the, the foresails and um, must be a good captain. And uh, that stopped them blowing out. But yeah, this is a much better plan, you know, using these, using the bollards because the cleats, let me show you. Look how much force there is. This mid mid disaster. This cleat this cleat's moving. It's actually pulled out the bolts. And it's not, doesn't seem to be moving now, but let's see with that. Yeah, this one. Check out the force. Force in the stern. It's actually bent a cleat. Not unbelievable. It's a flying debris like this. I put this. It's actually, it's not just rain. You get particles in the air, like those little bits of leaves that you can probably see in the thing, but even worse, terracotta roofing, like that flying towards us. Yeah, it's pretty bad. So if you can imagine, I didn't want to leave the boat obviously, but you can imagine that there's some guys, some other sailors tied off in the lagoon against the mangroves. They've survived. And the water was, the wind was so strong that it actually, but there's a seawall on the other side. It's coming over the top of that seawall, over the top of this, down the other side and actually spraying on top of the boat. Absolutely crazy, crazy. So yeah, this is the view over the seawall and uh, you could see where that blue boat would have been uh, moored up and you can see the pontoon is absolutely destroyed. Anyway, so thanks very much for watching and I um, uh, hope it was useful for you all. Maybe you got some information out of it, uh, but the best thing to do is avoid hurricanes altogether. Uh, we were lucky and I hope this is the last one we have to deal with, but probably not. <laughs>